Greetings, everyone. I am Elder Elect Leah Moore of Victory Christian Ministries and Victorious Christian Fellowship International, where the very Reverend Bishop Roberta E. Moore is our presiding prelate. Victorious Christian Fellowship International is a fellowship comprised of ministries of like-minded faith, looking to build the portion of, of the kingdom that God has given us with souls who love God and souls who are willing to do God's work for his glory. Today is day eight. We made it to day eight, y'all, which means we have two days left to make up our minds if we actually want to break the it that is trying to break us, and then we have an additional 30 days to do what? Let me hear you. That's right. Put in the work. Brief recap. Yesterday, we spoke about know that the truth that we set today will have an effect on our tomorrow. We were encouraged to make it a good one and make it a God one. For with God, we will never lose. If you weren't able to see that yesterday, please go back after you finish watching this one and watch that broadcast, that episode. Today, we will tackle point three of the knowing um, how to make up one's mind. Today, we are going to tackle point three, which is know that what you think on will either help you or hinder you. I'm going to say that again. Know that what you think on will either help you or hinder you. Tonight's breaking news is choose already. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. Tonight's breaking news is choose already. A lot of times we waste time deciding whether we actually want to choose what we know will help us or to continue to do the things we know are no good for us. We have no more time to be on the fence. We are either hot or cold. Lukewarm will always be a deterrent for God. Lukewarm will always be a deterrent for God. He don't like it. He said, if you are lukewarm, I will spew you out of my mouth. Joshua 24 and 15 says, And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Choose already. You either going to go back to the the small G gods of your slavery, or you're going to stay with the small G gods that have done nothing for you in the land in which you are dwelling, or you're going to choose to serve the God who, who has already proven himself to you. Choose you this day whom you will serve, but guess what? I made my choice. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So I made the choice, not just for me, but I made the choice for my house. We're going to serve the Lord. Remember, in all that we do, we either glorify God or we reject him. Remember, in all that we do, we either glorify God or we reject him. Choose already. Well, y'all, tonight was a brief one, but a good one. Once again, I am Elder Elect Leah Moore of Victory Christian Ministries and Victorious Christian Fellowship International, where the very Reverend Bishop Roberta E. Moore is the presiding prelate. Please stay tuned for all of the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful events that we have in store during our 40 days until it breaks movement. It has been a blessing so far. We are on day eight, y'all. We are on day eight. And I know there have been a lot of people that has been blessed. Please make sure that you look out for Bishop Roberta Moore's page every day at 12 noon, usually at 12 noon. She does our daily services. And if there is a, a time change, that will be broadcast on Bishop Roberta Moore's page and Victorious Christian Ministries page. 
It has been a blessing. When you see those services go up with our bishop, our presiding prelate, share it. People are coming on and getting saved, which is what we want. We will have wonderful events um, streaming from our Victorious Christian Fellowship International page. And of course, yours truly, your girl, every night for the next 40 days until we hit the 40-day mark um, at 8.30 p.m., I will be broadcasting our own breaking news broadcast where I encourage you to break the it that is trying to break us and where we get to do the work together. Once again, I am Leah Moore and this has been Breaking News. If anyone wants prayer, see the enemy try to get me to forget, but I won't forget. Um, if anyone wants prayer or wants to be led to Christ, please leave it in the comment section and I will be humbled and account it an honor to pray for you and to lead you into the body of Christ the right way. Once again, this is Leah Moore, and this has been Breaking News. I love you all, and good night.